Welcome to Granite Shield. This is a bathroom that was intentionally not cleaned for three months that has been sealed with Granite Shield and it will show you how easy it is to clean and maintain. This is showing how dirty it is, daily use, makeup being washed off every day before bedtime, showing how dirty a granite countertop can get and how easy it will be clean and get into the original condition. Everything in this bathroom has been sealed by Granite Shield, the porcelain sinks, the mirrors, faucets, and granite. It was sealed approximately four years ago. Never has been sealed again. Here are the products that are going to be used to clean the granite countertop the porcelain sink and the mirrors. This porcelain sink has been sealed with granite shield. It is very repellent but the residue from removing foundation makeup does stick to the porcelain after a period of time but it is easier to clean and very repellent and looks like a brand new porcelain sink once it's uh, cleaned. This is what I use to clean my porcelain sinks. You can use Silica Bright made by Granite Shield and Clean and Shine or uh, Soft Scrub and Clean and Shine works very well with a microfiber sponge. This is the sink after cleaning it with Soft Scrub. I haven't dried it yet and I'll be using a paper towel, drying it and then adding, uh, cleaning it with Clean and Shine it will make it more repellent again and using a microfiber towel. This is after using Clean and Shine and a microfiber towel on the sink and then I'll pour some water and show how repellent it is. I don't know if you can see that but the water is just beating on the porcelain. And this is the second sink that I will repeat the same steps. Keep in mind it hasn't been cleaned for three months. Here's the sink after using soft scrub and a microfiber sponge and now I will dry it with a towel, a paper towel, and then I'll use clean and shine and a microfiber towel. Here's the end result after using Clean and Shine and a microfiber towel. It is very shiny. It's very repellent. The sink, it's at least five years old. I would say anywhere 10 to 15 years old. It's because uh, we didn't buy the house brand new. And uh, looking at the MLS, I, I know these faucets and Granite have been in the house at least eight to ten years. Granite shield on the sinks, uh, the, on the porcelain, is, is very easy to clean, stays cleaner. I do really highly recommend if you're a working person and don't have time to clean. Now keep in mind this is intentional and I don't recommend it but it was intentionally not to be cleaned for at least three months. The only thing is we're going to have company so I have no, I have to clean the bathroom. So uh, I, the faucets haven't been cleaned in three months, water residue has not been cleaned up. 
but this will clean up and look as this as if I cleaned every day I you know um, I would consider this abuse to granite people should clean they shouldn't let water air dry because hard, hard water deposit residues will stay on the surface but it will clean up it's it's not a staining warranty problem it's uh it's it's a cleaning issue but it will clean up if you use the the right stuff to to clean this bathroom was used daily for brushing teeth putting on makeup removing makeup I, I use baby oil to clean, uh, to remove mascara. These are the products that will be used to clean the faucet and granite. I will only be using the clean and shine on the faucet with a microfiber towel and a microfiber sponge. And then after I've cleaned the faucets, I will use an ammonia-based glass cleaner on the granite and then finish it with clean and shine using the microfiber towel. This is the faucet after cleaning it only with clean and shine. No glass cleaner was used. Uh, a clean and shine and a microfiber towel. Look at, you know, it's just a beautiful glow. You don't see any residue of hard water deposits and only the granite just right around the faucet has been cleaned. Here's the left side of the sink that has been cleaned with granite shield. Just as shiny as the day it was sealed and no stains. Here's the right side of the sink or, or the countertop that includes the right faucet and sink and it, you can see rings around uh, on the granite from a glass or something that's been sitting there. It's all dried and I will be cleaning it. The same process that was used to clean the left side of the granite and sink and faucet was used on this one. On this right faucet, only the faucet currently has been cleaned. As you can notice, there is no um, hard water residue, nothing dried around the faucet. And the uh, residue that I was pointing out before that was right there, there's no stain, there's no ring mark. I mean, it is, it is completely gone. This is a bathroom that really could be uh, cleaned really just with clean and shine. A microfiber towel, a microfiber sponge, and some soft scrub or silica bright and a non-abrasive pad. And you've got a very clean bathroom in I'd say about 10 minutes. But I'd have to say, this is not a way to treat a bathroom that you've spent maybe three or four thousand dollars on granite and abuse it like this. It should be cleaned at least once a week. But I did it because I wanted to show you it still will come out looking as good as it did the day it was sealed with granite shield. My granite was sealed by Granite Shield in August of 2005. It's never been sealed again. It's as shiny as the day it was sealed by Granite Shield. All I've ever used is an ammonia-based 
glass cleaner, and occasionally clean and shine. And I never wipe up spills immediately.